Hi Cancer, it's your boy Drew from King of Wands Tarot here to give you your month of November reading, uh, your Terrascope if you will. Uh, excuse me, please take what resonates, the rest toss aside. Um, let's get right into the tarot. I usually do an animal, but I don't think that's catching on with anybody. So we're going to skip that all together. Actually, you know what? Let me start off with an energy. Energy Oracle, that's always good to do. Because then it gives me a feel for what's going on in your life. Okay, tell me, universe, what is cancer? Cancer, right? Cancer. Month of November. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do, because I cannot shuffle right now. And yes, those are two wild beasts behind me. Sort of value, indecision in the reverse. Here we go. All right. Can we get a little more? Can we get a little more? Deceit. That doesn't sound like a cancer at all. Okay, so somebody is realizing their value, obviously. Somebody's realizing their value, um, the daughter value, the daughter make that ching ching, to stack them coins, to percolate that certificate. <laughs> uh, anyways, so they're no longer in a two of swords movement, which uh, is uh, indecision of reversed. And there's deceit right there too as well. So basically, it could be deceit, uh, self, uh, self manipulation to keep the situation going forward, or somebody could be manipulating you, or vice versa. Whatever roles uh, fit, just you know. Ah. Ooh. Appreciation. Maybe we're appreciating a situation because we had it in front of our face the whole time and we just didn't see the true value of it. But in lieu of recent uh, events, you've been able to appreciate and have the patience it takes and the stamina and the know-how and the continuity in order to move forward. And this stems from a broken heart that's at the bottom of the deck. So it's all this code that you put together with yourself subconsciously. Um, let's see what the tarot has to say. I just got this new deck. It's called the Uncommon Tarot, by the way. I wish I would have done an unboxing because this shit was $30. And that's a lot of money right now, especially in this economy. But anyways, I truly love and cherish this deck because look at the gilded edges. I mean, it's the biz, the business. Cool backs, beautiful, you know, artwork. You're about to see. You're about to get a first listen right here. All right, so what can I see in the month of November for Cancer? Okay, that card obviously wanted to come out. Um, that is the five of coins, five of pentacles, upside down. So no longer feeling uh, in this indecision mode, which is funny because this is, if you look at it, this indecision card and this five of coins, they kind of, they look like they're both hooded and both like, ooh, you know what I mean? And you're, since that was reversed and this one was, this one was reversed as well. Um, you're no longer feeling like a victim. You're, you're, you're coming out of that and you're ready to make a solution or you're ready to um, get some headway on um, really uh, coming to terms with what it takes to fix and go to the parameters that you need to do in order to get happy. And no longer using the excuses of the past or the trajectory of what you did in the past in order to lead you there. Okay, and then we have the priestess. So your intuition is, uh, if I know a, a cancer, it's, <laughs> you guys already have that intuition on the lock. So that intuition 
is something that might be, it, it, it's a blessing and a curse at times. Also, I'm finishing the Celtic Cross here. We've got more players in the game. Please give me five more cards for Cancer for the month of November, please. Wow, okay. Two more cards, please. And there they are. Oh. Well, we got three more instead of two. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of coins. So we have, right there, we have the three of coins. We have something being certified, uh, somebody being uh, ordained or, 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 you know, I think of um, the Kardashians, I think of um, Scott Disick where he was ordained as a, as a Lord. He was a Lord Disick. And because it, it was put in writing and it was put in, you know, so, confirmational and everything so it that's a good one to have because it's all culminating together all the work and everything that you did behind the scenes and all the appreciation you had and the patience and all the, the the patience for the bullshit of the deceit you know patience for the deceit and the appreciation of the things that you do have is something that's very few like few and far it's it's not common for somebody to have so you're already on the right path with that and karma is ready to give you back your due diligence is ready to give you your stimulus package and you're going to get it sooner than the second one coming around well you know it the, the the rapture will come sooner than the second stimulus package and i'm sorry that the thing keeps bouncing i didn't st steady it right with the table <laughs> Already, um, let's see here. We have the Six of Cups up uh, reverse. So there is some past traumas that maybe you haven't went through and that's heavily on your mind. I think you're repeating a same cycle and you're just learning how to deal with it and react to it differently than, than what you have in the past. You so you got stuck in a loop of, of doing the same thing and it, it's been making you feel good and you've been thinking that the passion for the obsession to feel that it is your new way of feeling love but you need to reprogram your subconscious to believe and to accept that that's what happened to you and you deserve the new love that is coming to you um and that you're worthy of it you know what i mean just like that l'oreal commercial it's like because you're worth it you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, okay, so at the crowning area of the deck is the Ace of Wands. So that means ingenuity. Um, that means um, creation, invention, um, starting off a new business, maybe uh, having a new fling, something fiery, you know, because the wands are all about fire, fire, fire. Okay, and then in the recent past, we have the Page of Wands. So let me read what the Page of Wands uh, actually depicts in this deck because I don't know what it depicts and I am really curious to see what all of the depictions are of the cards in this very deck here. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay, so the page of wands. Um, the key words are new beginning or creative venture, an enthusiastic young person, a risk. The general theme is you are filled with ideas and ready to act on them. A new job or creative venture is possible. Take a risk. Good news. A fiery young person who brings excitement to the situation. And then you have uh, in reverse, because it is in reverse, and this is in the near past, uh, pompous, unoriginal ideas, all talk, false start, dragging your feet, a young person who causes chaos, a trickster, a shysta, a fuck boy. You don't want to be dead. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, the hermit is in the near future here. Uh, 
the key words and it's it right side up it's wisdom teacher mentor solitude obviously but i'm just curious to see what this deck here ha uh, has to say about it uh withdraw from the world solitude will soothe your soul and help you connect to the source of your wisdom your inner spark can guide you seek wise counsel while you're unable to find a way a teacher may help you with the light of truth you know what sign i'm at coming out of the dark that's what i have in my head anyway um just for kicks let's read the reversal the reversal says a busy time unable to be alone or find peace a disconnect from your higher self learning the same lessons again and again and again um what are you refusing to see an inability to ask for help going at it going at it alone when a team effort might be better the luna but good to know that that wasn't reversed okay and so how people see you is the hanged the hanged one and this one it says the hanged one and that's obviously the hangman um okay so we might as well read that one as well uh and it says what or how can you surrender uh suspension perspective sacrifice surrender at this time, things may seem in limbo, but trust that this period will give you a new perspective. Relinquish control and keep the faith. Your sacrifices will be uh, will bring rewards. Uncertainty leads to transformation. And the, uh, what, what is that saying? Um, the path of excess leads to condemnation and wi wisdom. Or is the palace of wisdom? Or, I, I don't know what the fuck. You know what I'm saying. Please, somebody, comment and, and, and figure out what the rest of that saying is or that saying at all. But <laughs> anyway, um, how you see the situation is the two of coins. And the two of coins, we're going to find out right now. I seem like such a novice because I keep on coming back to this thing. But I'm actually just very interested in knowing uh, what the depictions of each... Uh, major and minor arcana or of this one um in reverse it says the balance is lost and this is how people are seeing you in the situation the balance is lost unsteadiness poor choices lead to regrets finances are unstable at this time making it hard to get ahead so it kind of looks like a, a hawaiian chick like she's on like by pearl harbor it reminds me of south park where it's like Okay, feeling shitty, kind of like a pro Harbor. <laughs> you know what I mean? But <laughs> anyway, uh, but only a few of you will understand that. Everybody else would be like this idiot. Uh, choices, balance, flexibility, uncertainty. They're seeing you as a little bit bajiggity. That's from the sweetest thing. Uh, but a little bit flaky, a little bit loose, a little bit like of a loose cannon, you, you know, uh, what's coming to mind is, um, Beetlejuice, or goes, Delia, you're a flake, you've always been a flake, and you will forever be a flake, there's nothing here, let's go home, after they have that lobster dinner right there, where they all like, you know, we'll go night till the morning, go! I'm crazy. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, uh, your worst fear is the lovers upside down. So um, I know what I would think with that. That means losing out on love. But let's see it to a further extent. With the reversal, it says unhealthy relationships, codependence, or an inability to commit. Turning your back on love, poor choices, refusing to make a decision. Um, the key words are love, romance, relationship, intimacy, and choices. What choice will you make? Um, once again, unhealthy relationships, codependence, or an inability to, to commit. Turning your back on love, poor choices, refusing to make a decision. So you're kind of, you're not, should I stay or should I go now? It's like, you don't really want to stay. You don't really want to go. You're, you're, you're you're stuck in the middle, but the thing is, is that you, uh, from the energy oracle cards, you, 
your indecision is in the reverse. So you know that you're done with, with not making up your mind on that. And you know the door to value and that's you, you know, you see the deceit through the patience of noticing the appreciation of the things that are and the things that have been. And then the result end of it is um, the Eight of Cups. However, that's in the reverse. And the Eight of Cups is something like you're leaving something behind, you're going off to greener pastures, but it is in the reverse. So let's see what the reverse means of that. Obviously, it sounds like you're not going to greener pastures, <laughs> but let's see uh, more specifically what it means. It means uh, unable to move in the reversal. It means unable to move, stuck in old patterns. And it's got a duck. Oh no, it's got a, it's got a mallard duck. This mallard duck is flying south for the winter. The winter. Um, it says uh, in the reverse, unable to move, stuck in old patterns. You need to go, but seem unable and unwilling to give up the past returning to what's safe and familiar. So it's saying, you a dumb bitch. You a dumb hoe. You thought you was gonna do it. You thought you were done with indecision, but you ain't. Because you're a crazy motherfucking cancer. But you'll learn your lesson. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer. <sighs> Listen to your heart when it's calling for you. But sometimes you gotta put that bitch on hold and do something else. Take care of the logistics. Talk to your friends more. Beat the fuck out of a dog. Whatever you need to do. Be a hoe for Halloween. Do whatever you need to do. Whatever you like, we do for you. Okay? All right, guys. Um, Thanks for listening to me, Gab. Once again, I am Drew with King of Wands Tarot, and I will see you next month. Happy November. Light and love.